Before cleaning a wet type foam air filter, remove the filter element from the inner frame. Completely submerge the element in clean, high flash point solvent. Repeatedly submerge and squeeze the filter to work the solvent completely through the filter material. This breaks down the foam filter oil and releases a good majority of the dirt. Continue this process until the filter appears clean. Carefully squeeze the filter to remove excess solvent. Never wring out or twist the element. This can tear the foam material or cause one of the glue seams to split open. Now wash the filter a second time using a mild dish soap and warm water. This will release the remaining dirt and solvent residue. Wash the filter until no further dirt comes out. Skipping this second wash in soap and water can leave dirt trapped in the filter that can enter your engine causing increased wear and oil consumption. Now rinse the filter in clean warm water until all the soap is removed. Carefully squeeze the filter to remove as much water as possible. Now pat the element with paper towels. This will help reduce the overall drying time. Closely inspect the filter. Check the seams for glue deterioration or separation. Check for tears in the filter element or damage to the airbox sealing surface. If the filter is damaged, replace it. Even a small tear or hole in the element could allow dirt or sand to enter your engine, causing increased wear, oil consumption, and possible engine damage. Be sure to clean the filter element frame and allow the filter to dry completely. The filter must be completely dry before new oil is applied. Proper air filter oil application is critical. Trying to pour oil directly on the filter wastes oil and will not provide complete coverage. Incomplete coverage leaves dry spots in the filter that allow dust, dirt, or sand to pass right through the filter element into your engine. Motor oil does not have the correct properties for air filters. It will not stay suspended in the foam material. It will drain out of the foam, leaving no oil film to trap the dust, dirt, or sand particles. Spray filter treatments may be convenient, but also produce spotty and uneven coverage. Be sure to only use the correct type of oil, such as Yamalube foam filter oil. And for best coverage, we suggest using a sealable type plastic storage bag. Insert the clean dry filter and pour in three quarters to a full bottle of Yamalube foam filter oil. This is more than is needed, but we want to make sure we get complete saturation of the oil into the filter material. Remove as much air as possible and seal the bag. Now squeeze and mash the bag with your hands, making sure to spread the oil throughout the entire filter. Using rubber gloves, remove the filter and carefully squeeze out the excess oil. Again, be careful not to wring or twist the filter. We want the filter element saturated with oil, but not so much that it's dripping out of the filter. Now work the filter with your hands to evenly distribute the oil throughout the entire filter element. This can take some time to do properly. When finished, the entire element should be covered with foam filter oil with no dry spots. Incomplete oil coverage can lead to dirt or sand ingestion, which causes increased engine wear and oil consumption and possible engine damage. Be sure to follow the steps in your owner's manual to properly reinstall the air filter.